Mia. So first, can we just talk about how requested this video has been? Um, I had, I actually did this video last year as the back to school supplies haul and organization, I think that's what it's called, or supplies and organization video. First, actually, before I start the video, I'd like to mention that it is incredibly, incredibly hot in this room. The AC is on, but it's not working in this room. And I'm dying, and it's summer, so anyways, I'm gonna push through. But this video has been highly requested because last year I actually did this video. If you want to see it, I'm going to actually put a link of it. Warning, I look so much different than I do right now. I had like dark hair and like these really strong eyebrows and stuff. I don't think it was a good look. Judge it for yourselves. Um, but yeah, I actually listed um, all the kind of essentials for school. And this could be geared towards middle school, high school, and or college. Um, I'm in college right now. This is actually, I'm going to start my sophomore year, I guess. I'm not actually a full-time student as of right now. So I'm not, I don't know if I'm like technically a sophomore because I'm in community college and stuff. So this could be for high school also because um, I pretty much did the same exact thing as the video last year. So, and that was right after I got out of high school. So this could be pretty much towards anyone actually. And I'm gonna have some optional things in there for you also if you didn't want to exactly buy everything or get everything in this video. So yes, let's get started. All right, so the first essential and probably the most mandatory thing you'll want is a binder. Um, I showed this last year also, and this is the Durable by Avery um, binder, and it's just a regular three-ringed binder. And the good thing about it is it actually has these little um, pouches in it. I know that some binders actually have one going right here, and that's actually a lot more better, more better, it's actually a lot better than this, but um, it works perfectly fine. What I like about this is that um, it has like the clear um, insert inside so you can actually put in any picture or collage that you want and this is just like the regular label that it comes with and yeah this is good for organization. Now I'd say that this is very essential for school because um, you want to organize all of your classes in different dividers so I got the 5 tab, I usually get the 8 but I couldn't find the 8 in Target and um, basically what I do is I do homework for like I have Okay, in high school I'd usually have five to six classes, but right now I'm taking summer classes, so I only have one. Um, but in college, I'd usually have three. So you'd want to take whatever, like just pick one of your classes, do one for homework, one for notes, and then one for um, handouts or something like that. So you could just organize like your homework, your notes, and then your handouts. So you can just easily access um, whatever you need at that time. And what's good about it is it has like the three holes. So you can just insert it into your um, binder and then you can just separate everything you need to be separated. So I don't know how you can get through the school year without paper. So this is mandatory for school. And this is just the college ruled. I like the college ruled better than the wide ruled because it saves a lot more room. Um, but this is the college ruled. Just regular notebook paper. comes with 175 sheets. And it's relatively cheap. I think I got it for like a dollar or something at Target. And then if you are taking a math class or a more advanced math class, maybe like... Um, I don't think algebra, geometry, I don't know, but graph paper it just has the like transparent, not transparent, like the light lines so you can easily do graph problems and stuff like that. And some teachers do provide graph paper. Um, my high school teacher in math, or my math high school teacher provided graph paper, but I don't think any colleges do or probably any other math teachers, so you'll definitely want your graph paper. So the next thing you want is a notebook spiral or a composition book and right now what I'm using is a composition book it doesn't really matter which one it's just kind of a preference um, I find that these are a little bit annoying to have in your backpack because they can get smushed and just like I don't know it can be a little annoying and but the benefit of having this is that it has like the you can just tear out the pages and it has like the seam that you can rip out cleanly um, and with the composition book you typically typically cannot tear it out but I feel like these are a lot cleaner and I don't really need to tear out um, pages but what I use this for is for notes for single class um, and right now I'm using it for a business class and it just has a bunch of like terms and other notes that I took from a lecture. So I'm sure a lot of you are wondering why you would want a single notebook for each one of your classes. If you don't want to do that, you can actually get a, um, they have the bigger ones with sections so you can like separate the classes and stuff. But if you don't want a, like a really huge notebook, then you can just grab your single one. And then you can make divider tabs, I guess, out of um, little post-it tabs. So um, they come like this and you can just take it out of the packaging and you could actually write um, whatever subject you want or I don't know, like homework notes or whatever. And you can just put them in and separate maybe like a section for 
math and then a section for English or something like that. It's just a little tip. And these little flags or tabs kind of come in handy for a lot of things, so it would be nice to have in your little pencil pouch or something. So the next thing I feel like are semi-optional, but I feel like I need them personally. Um, these are sheet protectors, and you can just put in um, a single paper, maybe in, like an important document or a syllabus, syllabus, I can't say that word, a class syllabus or something, and you just put it in and basically just protects the paper so you can put it in your binder and it won't get like smeared from a bunch of ink or lead or whatever, and they'll just stay really nicely in, the, in your binder, so sheet protectors. So next I'm just going to go with some obvious things, pencils and pens, um, for like obvious reasons I guess. Um, what I'm using is a Bic pencil um, mechanical, I feel like mechanical is so much better than those like just regular wooden ones because you don't have to deal with pencil sharpeners and all those annoying noises and stuff, you just click and you're good to go. And I also feel like they, um, they write a lot cleaner and I use the 0.5 because it's a thinner lead and I'm kind of a perfectionist so I want to write really like precise so this is the Bic pencil and it comes with a bunch and it's fairly cheap and then um, the pens that I use, actually I've never tried these before but they're just regular black ballpoint pens and they're from Bic also and I think it's called Atlantis, the Big Atlantis pen. So next are some highlighters. I feel like if you take notes or something they can get a little mixed up and you feel like you don't know what notes are more important so if you have a few terms or something that you don't understand quite well then um, highlighters can really make them stand out so you can um, study them more and more or something like that and they also really help for separating different categories so kind of on the same subject is a colored pen this is the Bic four color um, ball pen and it basically has like a twisty thing so you can do like a blue and pink I don't know it's, it looks like one single pen but there's four different colors and this is really good for terms also I feel like I've mentioned terms so many times but you learn a lot of terms in high school or college, so yeah, you can just, you know, separate things. Um, something that my history teacher actually taught me in high school was that every single note you write, you kind of do a different color, so um, you can separate kind of each term and then you won't kind of mix them up together, I guess. So, colored pen. Alright, so no one's perfect, and you're going to need some correcting tools. So this is the big whiteout. Um, this is just the shake and squeeze pen. I know that some high schools or middle schools, elementary schools, don't allow like the regular whiteout things that it looks like a nail polish bottle. You just put it in and just like spread it. And I don't really feel like those are convenient at all. So I like these pens. They're good for like minor mistakes. Um, you can also get the whiteout pe like tape pens or just the tape. Um, I definitely like these a lot better, but the only thing about it is you kind of have to wait like for a minute to dry and you might get behind when taking notes or something, but this is definitely really clean and really easy to use. And then also I have um, some erasers. I usually use the high polymer erasers that you'd find in just like the regular school section. It's like the blue and white one, but I just found these because I couldn't find those. This is just some Bic erasers and for obvious erasing reasons. So next is some lead. Um, you're gonna run out of lead sometimes, so this is the 0.5 Pentel Super High Polymer Lead, and yep. Alright, so I should have said this a long, 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 long time ago, but this is a planner. This is basically my life right here. Um, I haven't used this one yet, though, because I actually just bought it recently, but this will save your life, I swear. Um, Basically, it's a calendar, and you can write down all your assignments and all your important like due dates and events and stuff for school. Or so you just pick a day, whatever day it is. Obviously, you would want the day it is, um, but just put in all your homework assignments, and then you can use your colored pens to separate your categories, like separate maybe social studies with math. So yeah, it just keeps it's really handy dandy, and it just keeps you so your yourself 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 organized. And also comes with a calendar, so maybe if you have like certain events like school spirit week or something like that, then you can just you know put those in. All right, so next I have post-its, and these are kind of weird looking, but I guess this is like the fold and flip notes cube. That's what it says. But apparently you just fold it over, and it's like a big cube. But these come with some tabs and some just random colored um, post-its. But if you maybe don't have time or you just have these handy and you don't want to write in your notebook or something, you have like a due date or an assignment, then you can just write it on here, tear it off and just put it on something, like put it on your folder or something like that. And it doesn't get messy because you can obviously just peel it off. And I just feel like these are really handy dandy and yeah, just some post-its. 
So next is also very optional. Um, this is hole reinforcements, and I mentioned this in my last video also. But if you kind of are a messy person and you maybe sometimes rip out the pages from your binder, or they just rip out because, I don't know, you shove something in your backpack and it ripped it out, then these are really good. Um, it's basically just a circle sticker, and it has a hole inside, and the hole is supposed to go right over a notebook paper. So it looks like this, if you see it. Um, so if you have like a notebook paper like this, then you just, and it say it rips like right here, then you can just put the hole reinforcement over the hole and then it's good to go and you can put it back in your binder. So yeah, these really came in handy because sometimes I found that like, I don't know, when I didn't know about these, I would always rewrite the whole paper over and over again, or not over and over again, just one time over because I didn't want to have it like ripping out of my binder. So once I discovered these, they saved my life. Alright, so next is a pencil pouch, and this might seem really familiar to you guys because I had this in my last video, and I had this probably in my video before that. If, no, I probably didn't do one. But I've had this for like three years now. And um, this is just the Alien from Japan. I got this from like Japan a long time ago. And it's a pencil pouch. It's good to keep all your pencils intact and all together because you don't want them shoving in your backpack. It's really unorganized, so yeah, this just keeps it all nice and put together. So next is a wallet or like a little money pouch. I would show you mine, but it's actually downstairs. But um, for maybe lunch money, driver's license, or like a school ID card or something, if you don't want to carry your whole wallet, then you can just have a little pouch or you can just have your wallet like I do. I usually just carry my whole wallet. So I'm going to go off with some more um, optional things and I'm just reading them off here. Colored pencils, if you're in high school, then sometimes you'll have like, um, like a history, like I don't know. But a lot of like subjects in high school, which I feel is completely unnecessary, they make you color like science and like biology, geography. I know those aren't typical subjects, but for assignments they make you color, so I don't know. That could work for middle school also. Um, next is a ruler, protractor, or scissors. Um, I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory. A magazine or a book. Um, some teachers don't let you use your iPod or um, your phone or something after a test or something, so you might want to just occupy yourself with a magazine or a book, and that could work for um, bus trips also. Next are flashcards. These are, um, this is like a little pouch for it, but just some regular index cards. Um, I would actually use these more at home than at school, but if you have vocabulary terms or something and you can't really get yourself to memorize, then what I usually do is just write out the terms on the index card, and then I'll write the like definition on one side and then the actual term on one side and I'll just use these and study and then I have a little pouch for it and this is a dollar at Target so I feel like it's really convenient because I usually use a rubber band but then my like index cards get kind of um, bent and stuff so yeah it just keeps it nice and put together. So the last thing is a thermal cup. Um, I know that the end of my last or the end of my senior year was incredibly hectic and I was sleeping maybe like one hour a night and I was going to work and I was just editing my YouTube videos and everything was just getting crazy and I was getting tired so I wanted coffee and I wanted it on the go because I really literally just like woke up and got out my door so a thermal cup would be great and probably not for the summertime because it's really hot but um, some mornings are really cold I know that a lot of people have to wake up at like 5 o'clock I woke up at 4.30 every single day in high school which was crazy because I can't even wake up at like 9 now without being like a zombie but thermal cups would be in handy if you want to either have tea or coffee on a cold day or just any day and yes Alright, so that's actually all of my school supplies and organization tips for you for the 2013 to 2014 school year. And I'm actually in college just to say again because I know a lot of people probably didn't catch that or they wanted to ask. So, okay, so before I end this video, I'm going to be doing a high school advice video. And I said this last year too, but I just didn't get enough questions. And I'm going to ask you guys to ask me questions, anything dealing with high school, drama, friends, um, assignments, organization, anything. So ask me questions about high school and I'm planning on doing, I'm going to try to do it because I'm going to be going to Japan soon, but I'm going to try to do like um, an advice video for incoming high schooler freshmen or any high schoolers. Um, so yeah, ask me your questions down in the comments below and that'd be really appreciated. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I hope you found it helpful and yeah, anything else I left um, out of this video will be in the description down below. Again, ask your questions and thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Oily.
I am all your lady. You know you never seem to mind